So there are um, numerous benefits to green roofs and, and several reasons why different um, places look at them. So I'll just go through some of the reasons. I mean, that's kind of a good way to look at benefits. But Portland, Oregon, their number one reason is be, uh, looking at stormwater management. So green roofs have the ability to retain quite a bit of water when they are um, rained upon and they're not saturated. If they're saturated, then they allow the water to flow at a, a, a slower rate. And so it enters into our sewer systems at a slower rate, if at all. And that um, helps a lot with the uh, combined sewage overflows, which most people know empty into the Willamette River, causing quite a bit of, uh, well, non-point pollution. So I have a, a, an intern through the Student Sustainability Initiative that's working for me, and he works here part-time on um, this project primarily, but then he also works on the property grounds. I've uh, been out here for, I don't know, oh, getting to a year now, I guess, helping Erin with her uh, green roof research and getting these babies up. Um, so after these guys get set and the data you know, session starts to go, um, I'm going to help out with that, but then also uh, take, care, you know, take on some, some new projects on my own, um, one being some sort of a bioswale, bioretention um, set up where we can um, collect all the runoff from the property. There's a lot of hardscape and uh, roof area that just washes off into the creek and uh, hopefully we'll find a way to redirect that to some sort of a bioswale system. We are looking at um, collecting the storm water that comes off. We're going to look at both storm water and the irrigation events. We won't collect water all the time, but we will choose to collect at certain, certain intervals and we'll look at how much are the roofs retaining. And um, we're also looking at irrigation regimes, so how do the plants respond to different irrigation regimes. There's a lot of projects to be in the future and uh, in the next couple, you know, several months and uh, I don't know, we're just going to have to figure them out what they are, you know, how to do them all and uh, eventually hopefully get them done soon, so yeah. So there's a lot of potential for students to get involved and we really want students to get involved. We also want the community to get involved and come out and learn from, from the different demonstration projects that we're doing out here. I'm an intern with the Student Sustainability Initiative working on Oak Creek Restoration and I wanted to do this over the summer because I like networking and I see that there's a lot of work to be done. I've done better in this year of school since I've been volunteering with um, the student government and with environmental affairs and then going on to do this internship so it's just really great like I would tell any student to do it just because it's a lot of fun, more fun than you think.